you'd participated in multi-client studies uh, in your past life, but you hadn't seen one that actually took along, took the customer along for the ride uh, to the degree that you had in this in this study. Uh, can you touch on that? Yeah, I, I think a lot of the studies that happen, and and oftentimes it's it's multi-client because we want to get enough people to subscribe to it to justify to do the study. And then um, don't you worry, and we're going to tell you what the answer is at the end. Uh, and I think those ones um, that I've seen in my lifetime, the folly is that they're not coming back and saying, we're seeing this, um, you know, I, what do you think? And not as if you want the clients to dictate what the answer is, okay? But you want to have that back and forth and that pushback. Because if you aren't testing out your theories and your hypothesis, you could start to go off in an area that is wrong because you you didn't see one of the you know you didn't see the nose in front of your face kind of a thing, and and we you know we found that in in a couple of cases you know in this where guys were saying well no actually this is really how we're using you know this this is this is how we're we're going to be using these these this type of uh, application. And I think that was key for us is that we did have that interaction with our clients. We didn't, you know, we didn't use our clients to tell us the answer. So I, you know, that, that you know, sometimes people can think it could go the wrong way. It's like, well, why am I paying you to tell you so you can tell me back? You know, no, no, not at all. That wasn't how we did it. I mean, we, we ended up having, you know, our hypothesis going back and saying, here's what we're seeing and getting that pushback. And I think that was, um, that's what makes this study having such credibility. And I, I think the other thing is that it's all voice of the customer. What's your customer asking for? What's important to them? What do they want to see? Oh, okay, we want to see raw materials. Great, we're going to add that. You know, we had cases where we added segments as we went along in this study also, because they said, well, wait a minute, you know, uh, that reefer, you know, application is kind of like this, but we really think you should do a different one to look at construction equipment. So as we went along, you know, and that that model added, it added segments. You know, some other provider might say, you know, it, it's close enough to this, don't bother. But we kept, I mean, we kept adding on work to ourselves to make that a better product 